Hello, welcome to The Collectible Show. My name is Aaron Lapidus. I'm your host tonight. We have a wonderful show in store for you. We're very lucky to have Mike Peters, the creator of Mother Goose and Grimm. Mike, welcome on the show. <laughs> well, it's great being here, Aaron. This is great. This is an honor for you to take time out of your day to be on here and tell us a little bit about what you've done in your life. Let's start off. How does it feel that a cartoon can play a role in historical events that go on? You had a cartoon that came out when the O.J. Simpson trial came out. Aaron, uh, this is the amazing thing when you're working in a media where you're going out to millions of people and you have no idea what effect this thing is going to have. I was sitting this one Friday, I was sitting during the, uh, the O.J. trial. And every morning, uh, I lived on the East Coast, every morning I'd turn on the TV around 12 noon, which was 9 o'clock on the West Coast, and I'd hear what happens to over the trial so I could do my cartoons on it. And this one morning, I was working, and uh, Judge Ito came out, and uh, I've got the TV on, and the CNN is on, and, and, um, and um, Judge Ito says, we can't start this trial until we take care of this Mike Peters cartoon thing. And I looked at the TV like as if they said your name at the OJ trial. And I looked at it, and then uh, Judge Ito said to Johnny Cochran, well, Johnny, it looks like uh, you made off pretty well on that cartoon, Mike Peter's cartoon. I'm going, I'm yelling to my wife, Marion, Marion, you know, and I'm trying to learn how to, I'm trying to tape this thing. I've got a little tape machine on my, but <laughs> I couldn't do it. You know, she's running down, and we're trying to do this. What happened was, oh, and then eventually, Judge Ito stopped the trial for three and a half hours to interview each of the jurors. And what happened was the people at the, at, uh, in the courtroom, in the court, the court stenographers, the people in the court, uh, were supposed to cut out anything about the trial out of the Los Angeles Times before they gave it to the jurors who were living there for a year. And, but someone forgot to cut out this cartoon. Now, the cartoon meant nothing. I mean, you know, it was this You're thing. You're talking about poor little innocent uh, whale. Little whale and J Johnny Cochran. And yeah. the thing was about free Willy. You yeah. know, here's Willy. The... And so, and, uh, and so one of the jurors brought the newspaper to Judge Ito and said, were we supposed to see this cartoon? And he had had some other problems before, and he blew up and then stopped the trial and then interviewed each guy. But then what happened right after that was CNN called and all these networks are calling me saying, well, what do you feel like, you know, ending the trial? And this lady named, oh gosh, um, this woman uh, that has a judge thing on CNN, you know, um, uh, I forget her name. She and this other guy were talking about the, the court case and she says, well, I think this cartoon is horrible. And the other guy says, oh, this is on CNN. And the other guy says, well, why? And she says, well, it's got Willie as being a killer whale. It's kind of implying that um, OJ might have, you know, murdered Nicole. Well, duh, you know, but, <laughs> but, but, and so, and so I'm, I'm causing all this stuff and I'm still in my underwear at my drawing board. I mean, you know, it is the darndest thing. No, it's just, it's, you know, yeah, that visual mic was a little bit too oh, I'm much. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean underwear. I didn't mean that. I, I didn't mean that. You Mike, know. you were very lucky that Judge Ito uh, didn't uh, send out a warrant for you and you needed Johnny Cochran and the cartoon could have been free. <laughs> Free Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Actually, he asked me for the cartoon, and then and then Johnny Cochran asked me for the cartoon. So I had a, I gave Judge Ito the original, and then I doctored up one to give to Johnny Cochran. You know. Do you feel that what you do could actually change a role in the way people view different matters? Well, is that your goal, or yeah. is it your goal just to make humor of different events that go on that you just don't think are acting their role in life the proper way? Yeah, I think. Uh, for me, my, my goal as an editorial cartoonist is to hopefully change someone's opinion. Even though when you see a cartoon, a, a, a political cartoon or a comic strip, it, most people spend about three and a half seconds. You know, they look at it, oh yeah, <laughs> okay, you know. A and so you don't really picture that that three and a half seconds is going to change someone's opinion. But maybe cartoon after cartoon maybe might make a uh, you know make some sort of dent on people the power I think of a cartoon especially a political cartoon 
is to leave a lasting image on someone's mind about an issue that they'll never forget. That there were so many editorials written about the Vietnam War, um, but people can't recite them. But there are one or two cartoons that I remember about the Vietnam War that I'll never forget, and that's the power of a cartoon. That's amazing. Thank you for being on the show. <laughs> You've been a, been a hoot. Oh, uh, you are a hoot. I'm very lucky to have you. Mike Peters, Mother Goose and Grimm. Remember, one person's trash is another person collectible. <laughs> have a great night. I'm Aaron Lapidus. Thank you.